it's time to start sorting the camper out ready for my trip okay this is a 1988 Devon Tour Ace Toyota High Ace convertible so we've got seats in there that can face each other both face the front or flatten down into a bed my fire extinguisher normally the legs for the table is are stored up there but I'm not taking it with likewise the tabletop there which slides into that is stored at the side I'm not taking that because I never use it I've got my fridge in there I took out the original because it was no good this is where the water carrier was but I use that for storage space however this unit which holds also the sink and the stove top and the grill is coming out because I don't need it I need more to have the space so we're going to take that out shortly and uh, I lost the door last year because I've got some leakage coming through the skylight up there and uh, all sucked up through the MDF and that's welled up and broke okay the only other thing I've got is this tall cupboard here for putting clothes in or fishing rods or what have you so that's going to stay this is where I stuck my cutlery sorry not my cutlery this is where I stack my um, odds and sods and my mugs and there's a drawer I've just removed for the time being where I keep all my crockery and cutlery so anyway what we've got in here this opens up and has various wiring stuff. This is currently disconnected electrically. Um, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to have to disconnect the gas supply as well. I don't use the gas anymore anyway. So I've gone gone solar nearly. Oh, one other thing. I've got my my Zig Electronics Limited switch panel, so I can switch between car battery, van battery, or off. I don't know if there is a van battery. Water pump lights auxiliary. I've got the fuses. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get to work converting it because that is going to give me more storage for my five weeks away if I can put boxes there because I've got scuba cylinders, I've got fishing gear, camping gear, diving gear, kayaking gear. My cylinders will go in there in the space between the two seats, and uh, I'll be jobs are good. Un. So there we go. I've taken it out and taken out that whole unit. Pull out the uh, water waste hose, cut off that piece of gas pipe so I don't know where it's going to go. Down here in this corner, that went through into the box where the. Let me see if I can lift this up. Yeah, so this is the rock and roll bed, so I'll just whip this side up carefully with one hand. knee so it's not comfortable doing it like that so there you go there's the rear seat now if I lift that up we can see that this is where the gas was so you've got any connections I've cut it out there this is other bits and pieces okay so gas box cut off then cut there and there that's my electrics behind there so where I had an electrical socket fitted on the back, that was in here. This is behind the unit. So cut off, sealed up, cut off there and sealed up. There was already a break in a wire here, which you might be able to see when the thing tipped over sometime. Yeah, one time at band camp, can't really see it. So now everything is prepared let's get that yeah get it in so it's really increased my loading space in the back here so the fridge is there i put a small tray in there fruit tray in my little cupboard here i've put one of those boxes from the old supermarket i've got a bunch of these available so they can go on top and stack up there which make that more usable That's uh, all looking pretty good. So this is just going to store sort of tea towels and things, probably something like toilet rolls, 
you know, to keep them out of the way, make use of that space. At a later date, I might actually get that turned into another drawer. So, it's looking good. Looking very good. Oh, one other thing. Is I've temporarily mounted my... Thanks. Temporarily mounted my solar panel in there. I say mount, I've just slid it in. It's not going to be very effective. I'm not going to make sure I park in the right direction. However, the problem I've got is I need to put it onto the pop top, which of course pops, and then drill on, bring it down here, and have the cable come along far enough to come over here because I'll probably put my power bank in here, although I haven't decided for sure yet. Well, that's the state of play for now.